Alright, so we're 20 days into the ecosphere. All kinds of worms, crustaceans. all kinds of life forms in here so there's one of the planarias just going around so I'll just go ahead and update you guys real fast so we have planaria and a lot of spots in the tank. The snails have laid eggs in quite a few areas. I don't know if I can get those to focus in or not. Snails have definitely laid eggs in a few spots. There's the two mystery snails at top. There's some bladder snails, one of the fishes. The plants have went totally nuts and taken over just about every where inside the cage. There's a planaria at the top, can't focus on him though. I really like the Lotus Twitus worms, I think they're called. And there's a couple other ones that are pretty cool looking. I swear, getting focused for you guys is one of the hardest things. Let's get even closer on this guy, because he's pretty cool. These guys can be cut in half and grow back, cut into, I think it's like 248 pieces or something like that. Their mouse in the middle of the body is that little oval section that you guys have seen in the middle that's discolored from the rest of it. As you can tell I've got some algae growing in here. But yeah that's an update of this one. So I just want to show you guys how that's going. Plants have taken over just about everything. And then let's go ahead and take a look into this guy which I haven't really seen too much life in. Let's see if we see any life in the bottom. Oh, there's our mystery, Chinese mystery snail. I have not seen very much life in this ecosphere from the ditch that we made about a week ago at all. Um, there hasn't really been much. But I will keep you guys updated. There is some life growing in it. The plant has started rooting. So we'll see if any life turns up in this one besides just a snail. But so far, I'm not seeing anything. So I'll give you guys an update in about two weeks. Stay tuned. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell.